What's going on, everybody? Welcome to G Miles. We're on the right here. You're going to be taking a look at Michael Irvin. This is the pre chem crack. I don't know why he's not chemmed up, though. Maybe the guy I'm playing is just a bum, but this is going to be a three game compilation, all right, of maximum Madden NFL 18 footage from my archives. Like, I've had this, I was supposed to put these videos out a while ago, but I've been streaming so often since I've been partnered on Twitch, just trying to see, you know, what the whole Twitch scene is about. So I haven't been putting out as much content on YouTube, but you guys have been enjoying it as well. And, um, you know, I appreciate my sponsors that are also on YouTube. I'm going to be getting you guys some live streams, you know, very, very shortly, but I definitely appreciate all the support that's been pouring in. And I also appreciate all the hate because, um, that, that, that it doesn't like, it doesn't motivate me or anything, but I like to see it. It's like stupid. So it's like something that I use as humor because after the person is banned, some of them create other accounts and stuff like that. And it's like really, really, it, it kind of makes me figure like, yo, these guys wake up in the morning and they don't brush their teeth. They don't take a shower. They just want to hate on Jumai's world. So for all those dudes, man, it's appreciated that you guys do it. Um, but this is, I do this for my people, my supporters and my fans. So, yo, we're going to keep grinding and doing what we do. So this guy right here, this is the first, uh, victim that's going to come out and think everything is going to be okay. I don't remember what exactly made this guy quit. I think it's just cause he's a bum, but I'm not sure. So he comes out in one of the most, um, you know, predominant sets that people have been using, uh, whether they're going to run the halfback pitch, they're going to run wham, they're going to run dive. It's typical stuff. You've all seen it. It's nothing new. These guys go into a stream. They watch a quote unquote pro gamer in Madden 18, which doesn't make any sense. Cause I don't think that they it, like, I don't want to go into that. Like it, it doesn't make any sense. The way this game, why did my guy just drop on the ground as soon as the play started? I don't know what's going on, but the game is very, very difficult to understand when certain things happen. So I don't really, you know, I, I support Madden because of what because of what Madden has meant to me throughout my years, but it's very, very difficult to see some of the guys lose the way that they do, in my opinion, is just completely wild. And that takes away from the whole aspect of the competitive nature of the game. Because the competitive nature of the game shouldn't be similar to other modes like arcade or simulation. It should be what it says it is and competitive. And I don't think that that mode is um, advantageous for the people that are calling themselves competitors because the same flukes happen in all three modes. So that's the first guy. He said he had to go and jump into the shower, but he don't got a bathroom. So we're going to see what happens with that guy in the future. He, he did what he had to do. Now, this guy, um, you can see that he has a pretty decent team. It's not like he came out and he was a bum or I got lucky and I lurked somebody that was just, uh, you know, didn't have as much uh, over high overalls as I do because, you know, most of the time it's very, very rare, but I usually run into guys with that Ray Lewis, Most Feared, Gonzalez, Michael Vick. I run into teams that are very, very similar to mine all the time. I very, very rarely get bums that, that don't know what's going on. And that's one of these things that happen with the patch. You'll see now that you can cause fumbles more regularly and um, even on conservative. So even if a guy is running around all game with conservative and he thinks that he's going to be safe, he won't anymore. You can still force a fumble. So keep that in mind, even if you do run conservative, because I don't run conservative anymore, uh, unless it's at the end of the game. You know, like because I know LaDainian Tomlinson is always ready to fumble. See, this guy is a pretty basic guy right here. Um, I thought he would quit. I give guys like this a lot of credit because it's so easy to quit the game and, you know, go on with your day. But when you stay regardless, because remember, my team wasn't always like this. When I was grinding for OBJ and only doing solos, my team was garbage. I had Ben Roethlisberger. I had Bradbury at corner with the other bum, that bum from the Patriots that's over there now. Uh, that's an 85 overall, the um, gauntlet player. Um, I had a lot of bums, you know what I'm saying? And I was going out there and beating these God squads. So my team offensively, you would probably consider like a very decent high overall team. But defensively, my team is still pretty bad. Other than Sean Taylor, I hate my entire team. You know what I'm saying? Well, Mike Vick, I kind of like now, but I don't, it, it, I don't know if that's going to last. You know what I'm saying? I'm just being honest about it. I don't know how long our relationship will go on and we'll be on talking terms is what I'm trying to say because one way or another, he, he might screw me over to the maximum capacity and I might not know what to do with myself. I don't know what that was. The animations where both of us did the same move and stuff like that. There's a lot of things that happen within the game like that. I don't understand why it does. Um, that's been going on since the first Madden 16 patch. That has not been addressed. A lot of the plays that go on, a lot of the uh, the flukes that happen in the game, that is primarily because of the Madden 16 patch. That's when Madden started to really get wild, um, when they initially patched Madden 16. So um, when you play this game, I give you guys a lot of credit. And um, I play this game, I stream this game, and it's primarily because I just, it's Madden. You know what I'm saying? Like Madden is very, very hard to give up. 
Um, regardless of what it is, you could say I'm addicted. You're probably right. Um, I just went off sides and I'm on balance. But guys, keep in mind though, I don't touch my coaching adjustments anymore unless I have to put them on conservative um, on offense. But even if you're on balance with your defensive line, you can still get drawn off sides because balance just means that sometimes you're conservative and sometimes you're aggressive. So if the computer decides to make you be aggressive at that one time on a fourth and inches, which they usually do, you're going to jump off sides. All right. So just to keep that, because I know a lot of you guys have been asking me and it's not that I'm ignoring you, but a lot of people are leaving comments. I can't answer all of them. So right here, we're going to block this guy's kick and we're going to take it for six. Then I'm going to pick his sister up and I'm going to do what I got to do right quick. So, um, you know, going forward with this guy, I, I give him a lot of credit because I understand that he's a bum though. Like a lot of games where I get blown out, people think I'm a bum also. So I know what it's like and we've all been there and I don't care what you say. We've all been with this new tier of Madden. I've never been destroyed like I've been destroyed from Madden 16, 17, and 18. 15 was, eh, you know what I'm saying, bro? But it wasn't really like blowout parties. You know what I'm saying? Like a dude coming to just do whatever you want to do. It wasn't like that. See, after the patch with Madden 16, a lot of different things started to happen. And, you know, for my newer viewers uh, and my viewers from other countries and stuff like that, Feel free to check out my other playlist to see what... You see like how my guy just didn't react? That's Brooks. He has like an 85 zone coverage. A lot of you guys will say, yeah, his zone is low. So that's why he didn't do it. Okay, like right there, he'll get the... You know, he'll fall forward on a fourth down. Those type of things that happen... Sim you see how my guy stopped with a nano detection? These are the things that have been added into the game to make the game easier to be playable for a lot of people. But the whole thing about it is that stuff shouldn't be allowed in competitive mode. You see... When, when you start to think about it ideally, right, and you understand and you already know that EA is going to do whatever they want anyway and it doesn't matter what we want, you know, EA is not taking us, on a, taking us out on a date. They're going to do what they want to us. No date, no lube, no nothing, right? You would think that if they separated the modes that they would not allow a lot of the things that they added to make the game easier be in competitive mode because you got a lot of guys that are, that are quote-unquote Madden pros that are running around and requesting even more bailout actions, you know, whatever they want, like it's just stupid things. But if they kept the game legitimate, like say Madden 25 without all the excessive pancake blocks and just made that the competitive mode, Madden 18 could be whatever it wants to be in arcade and simulation. If you guys understand what I'm saying. See, that's what my argument is. Like the way that his guy just didn't block that guy coming around the edge. You see, if you make the guys more alert and you, and you do certain things for competitive mode, I would be fine with that. Because that's what the game would be. And then I would consider competing. Because I play the game more than enough. And a lot of the bums that make it in these tournaments, all they do is play excessive amount of games. By the law of probability, you're going to win some of them. You know what I'm saying? So you don't got to win that much. You just got to win a decent amount. Um, so that's the major issue that I have. And that's why my rage... I've toned my rage down a lot from Madden 16 till now. Madden 16, I, I popped like 19 blood vessels in my left eye socket. All right? 17... I had to go in because one of my, one of my, yo, my sack was like, it was like irreversible. Like it like flipped it inside out. Um, and then now in 18, I'm just chilling, bro. I'm just chilling. You know, I may have a drink here or there and stuff like that, but all the rage is gone because I've done what I could do. Um, I've been objective when speaking to the Madden developers. Um, I haven't been disrespectful in any way. Um, yes, I have made fun of the game. I have raged uncontrollably, but we all have. But when I'm talking about things that can make the game better, I just threw that ball. That was a great luck by him. I don't know why I threw that. But when I'm talking about things that can make the game better, I really do want to make it so that the competitive mode means something. Because right now, it doesn't. And I'm just being honest about it. If you can, if you can line up and throw the ball through somebody's body, that is not competitive. So that's why when people say, yeah, you know, people try to make fun of the competitors. I actually embrace them. Um, the most of them I don't care for because of their backgrounds and stuff like that. But I embrace the fact that they're competitors because the game itself is wild. And they're making money from it. And they're making money from doing something that they really enjoy doing. So there's no hate for that. Um, it's just the fact that the game itself is not competitive on competitive mode. That's my argument. Everything else other than that, I, that's, I'm not here to argue about that. You know, I can never hate on somebody getting money. If, if you're somebody that I don't like, yo, take that for six real quick, Bar, and then pick a sister up out of the crowd. Um, if, you, if it's somebody that I have disagree, disagreements with, which is, um, you know, a lot of people in the Madden community that are just complete fake people, I don't care that they, you know, I don't care about what they do, what's going on with them. I, I don't want to hear anything about them. It's the fact of the game that we all play. That's the only thing that we have in common is that we all play Madden. Whether they think they're good or they're not good or whatever like that, that doesn't matter. 
It's the fact that we all know and we all see that while things happen on a regular basis and it has to stop. That, that's my whole argument. It just has to stop. At some point, we got to all... Like, this dude is just throwing... Pit. See, this dude is a bum. But you may say, yeah, this guy is garbage and you're blowing him out. So why... You know, what are you talking about? Why are you complaining? It's not complaining. Because this can easily be flipped. And I could be the one getting blown out by a guy that has no thumbs and no eyeballs. Possibly a square that's a... Po- Bro, a squirrel that's a paraplegic. Listen, I don't know... You see, I don't, I don't know why are they paying it. Why are they trying to fix the way that dudes intercept the ball? Just take away ball hawk and make people have to strafe again for interceptions. Like, if you're gonna be competitive, like what the, what was that? I don't even know what that was. You know, I'm, I'm just sick and tired of all the, they, the, the target passing. Like, wh- why did you add it in the game? And I haven't seen one person use that. I tried to use it before. They just patched something recently that made your guy not turn backwards with the target passing and stuff like that. I don't even know why target passing is in the game. It, it, you know what I'm saying? I think what. What was that? What? He scored on that? Oh, they made him score on that. He just threw the ball up in the air like a savage. And he's, okay. I, I wasn't expecting that. I, I really, I, okay, pick, yeah, go, go for six. Go for six. Strip me. LT. For everybody that's leaving comments, oh, LT never fumbles. Okay. Okay, bro. That's what I'm saying. And a lot, yo, pick that ball up. But a lot of you guys that are in my streams, you guys know what I'm talking about. Shout out to the individuals that come and support and know, like, listen, I might, see, this is why I love me some Michael Vick. You know what I'm saying? Like, this dude right here, he's just an outright goonie. He's just an outright glitch. He is a savage. Yeah, I, I think I'm going to keep him for a while. I, I don't think I'm going to... I'm probably going to go into the new year with Vic on my squad, bro, to be honest. Oh, yeah, just... Oh, he threw it right to me. Oh, okay. Yeah, this this, this guy right here, man, I, I give him a lot of credit. I give him a lot of credit, man. The dude's garbage. Um, But we're going to keep running the score up because, like I said, I'm Bill Belichick out here, bro. Like, I don't care that, you know, you're down. When a man is down, you got to keep kicking him, dog. Like, you can't... Because another time when I run into this dude, he's going to blow me out. And I already know that. That's the Madden 18 way. So, at the end of the day, it's always GG's. I'm always going to tell my opponent GG's, but we all know that sometimes it just doesn't work out like that. And we just got to keep fighting, man. It, it is what it is. Blowing this guy out, just beating his brains in. It doesn't matter, bro. This guy right here, he came out and he stayed. A lot of dudes would have left. You know, a lot of you dudes would have, you know, just dashboarded me, came out and just did whatever you want. So that, I believe that this was his Super Bowl. That's why he probably stayed because it wasn't my Super Bowl. So we come out with the same animation. I don't know why. I guess either way, they should start giving us the Super Bowl, you know what I'm saying, trophy if, they, if they're trying to say that we won it, even though it's not ours. But that's just my frame of mind with the whole situation. I want to thank you guys for walking through this whole compilation with me and enjoying the content, you know, hopefully. Shout out to all my fans and my subs all across the world. I'm going to see you guys and girls next time. Happy holidays from G Myers World. One love.